everyone, this is Gina here again. In this video, I'm going to go through how you can set up saving your GitHub username and password on Linux so that you don't have to keep typing it in every time you want to push to GitHub. This will save you a lot of time and just make it more convenient to commit and push more regularly. All right, so I've got this GitHub repo here, uh, gsprint23 slash cpp crash course. I want to start making some C++ crash course videos. And I want to put all of the code for these videos in this one repository instead of, say, one repository for each video. So I want to be able to push to this repo some code that I just wrote for a video I made. So I'm in this folder uh, on my Linux virtual machine on the desktop called CPP Crash Course. If I do an LS, you'll see I've got this folder here, File IO Review Fun. I want to get this folder up here in this GitHub repo. Now, I'm going to go through step by step how to start this from scratch, beginning with git init. And then you're going to see when I go to commit that I'm going to have to identify myself. And then when I go to push, I'm going to have to enter my username and my password for GitHub. This is a very clean VM. In fact, I've only installed one thing on it, which is gedit. Okay, so it's very clean. This is a first attempt at committing and pushing to GitHub. So you can see every step of the way. All right, so I'll do an ls-al. This shows all the files and folders in my current working directory, both hidden and non-hidden. So the dash a is for hidden files, okay, of which there are None. I mean, we have the reference to the current working directory and the reference to the parent directory. And then here's my file IO review fund, which is not hidden. Hidden files start with a dot. And the L is for a long listing. Okay, so you can see uh, that I was just working on this not too long ago. Here's the time down here. All right, so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to run git init to initialize CPP crash course to be a local git repository. If I run ls-al again, now you'll see I've got that hidden .git directory. This is what makes this folder a git repo and what makes essentially all of our files be tracked by git. Okay, this kind of magic folder right here. All right, now that I've made this CPP crash course folder a repository, I'm gonna go ahead and run git add-a because I wanna add all of the files uh, in this folder to my git repo. You can always run a git status and see that state of my repository. So it says new file, file I refund, main.cpp, chars.txt, sentence.txt. That looks great. Those are the three files that I want to add in this folder to my git repo. Now all the changes in these files, I'm gonna save as a snapshot with git commit dash m. And I'm gonna label this commit, I'll call it file io review fun maybe done or something like that. All right, so now I'm getting this error message. It says, please tell me who you are. Fatal, unable to auto detect email address. Got Gina at Gina dash PC. Okay, so this machine is very fresh. It doesn't have an email address for me. Git can't figure it out. So Git's asking me to set it in this global config file, which I'm happy to do for Git. So this is the command that I need to execute. So git config dash dash global uh, user dot email. And here's where I put my email address. This doesn't have to be the one associated with your GitHub account. It does not have to be. All right, next I'm going to set my username. Uh, so same thing here, this doesn't have to be your GitHub username, this can just be your full name, or it can be your GitHub username. All right, now let's run this again, git commit dash m. Okay, it looks like I was able to commit three files, 104 insertions. Great. Now, I want to take this local repository with this initial commit here and push it up to GitHub. Okay, I want to push it up specifically to this repo. So what I need to do is copy this URL right here. This uniquely identifies this repo. Copy, copy. 
All right, Git remote add origin. I'm going to paste in that link. Okay, now I'm going to run git push dash u origin master. And here's the key part right here. I am going to be prompted for my username and password every time I push to this repo or anytime I push to any repo for that matter. The first time I'm like, okay, not such a big deal. Maybe it'll save it. It's not going to save it. On Linux, it's not going to save it unless you explicitly set up a little credential manager. And there are a lot of different ones out there. The one I'm going to show you is called libsecret. Okay, so every time I want to push, I'm going to have to enter in this username and password. If you're on a Mac, you're used to Keychain just saving things. Well, this isn't just going to be saved for you. You're going to have to do a little bit of work. So let me show you how to do this. All right, we're going to install a little utility called libsecret. So here's how you install a little utility or a little program uh, using a package manager on the command line. Now, if you're on a different flavor of Linux, you might be using a different package manager uh, than the one I'm using on Lubuntu. So if this doesn't work, just go ahead and Google package manager for whatever Linux distribution you're using. All right, so we're going to run sudo apt install libsecret-1-0 and libsecret-1-dev. Okay, you will be prompted for a pseudo password. So enter your pseudo password on your machine. Do you want to continue? Y for yes. All right, hopefully everything went successfully for you. Now we need to CD to where libsecret was installed. So CD slash USR slash share uh, slash doc slash git slash contrib, slash credential, slash libsecret. Okay, you should see a make file in libsecret. So in order to run make, uh, we'll have to type sudo make. And this is essentially going to make or compile libsecret for your machine. And now we just need to let git know that we want to use the libsecret utility that we just made in this really, really long path here as our global credential helper or our credential manager. So here's what we need to do. Just like before, when I ran git config global and I set up my username and my user email, now I'm going to set up my credential helper. So git config dash dash global credential.helper, and then that long path again, but we're going to put one more thing on the end. It's what we just made. It's the executable for our libsecret git credential helper. All right, so slash usr slash share slash doc slash git slash contrib uh, slash credential slash libsecret now slash get credential libsecret. This is what we just built. All right, press enter. Everything should be set up now. We can CD back out of this directory, back to wherever we were developing our code, which for me was the desktop and it was my CPP crash course. Okay, I'm gonna head into that file IO review fund folder and just make some change. Okay, I'm just gonna make some change so that I can add, commit, and push. And this time, hopefully, if everything went well, when I push, I'll be prompted for my username and password, and it will be saved in libsecret, so I won't have to enter it in again. And we'll test that out. All right, so maybe I'll change main.cpp. Maybe I'll just put a line up here, something like uh, at author. A sprint. Okay, I'll write and quit. I'll run a git status. I can see that I've modified main.cpp. I'll git add dash a, git commit dash m, add author. Okay, now I'm going to run git push. It's going to prompt me for my username as I expect it's going to. 
But now here's the cool part right here. It says choose password for new key ring. So our new key ring is lip secret. I'm going to enter my password again, but this time it's going to be saved. All right. So let me do this one more time. Make a change. Let's say I don't want the author in there anymore. Add, commit. This time I'll say remove author. I'm just making some change so that I can test when I push, do I have to enter my credentials or not? So here's the moment of truth, get push, and I do not have to enter in my username and password, which is awesome. I can now push more regularly with more ease and truly use version control for its intended purpose. There are other uh, alternatives out there to libsecret. In fact, if you head over to that same folder we were in, uh, user share dot get contrib credential, you'll see that there are actually a few that come with Lubuntu Linux. Uh, some of those are deprecated, but some of them still work. Uh, I like libsecret. It's worked pretty well for me uh, for the last couple years. So I recommend that you use it as well until it too becomes possibly deprecated someday. Thanks for watching the video and enjoy using Git without having to enter in your credentials every time you push to GitHub.